Good morning to you. What are you witnessing there? Good morning, Blaine. Um, so I'm outside the Vodacom headquarters where there is one pop-up uh, vaccination site. It's a drive-through vaccination site. And based on what I've heard so far, they have vaccinated almost 500 people in, in, in less than three hours of opening. I understand that this morning they were supposed to start operating um, at 9 a.m. However, they had to start letting people in as early as 8.30 because people had started uh, lining up and queuing for that life-saving shot. This is a, uh, an initiative, really, that's been um, set up by the Department of, of Health in Gauteng, as well as the office in collaboration, really, with uh, the Office of the Premier. These are some of the pop-up vaccination sites that we're going to see popping up um, on weekends and on certain days where people can come in uh, without registering and they just need to bring in uh, their ID in order to just vaccinate but i'm not alone here i'm actually joined by someone who can actually give us more information about this vaccination site and this initiative uh thank you so much for joining us uh shana davies uh, davids is um not only an executive here uh, um, uh, rather pr a project manager here at vodacom uh, she's also uh, a paramedic by training talk to us about what went into setting this up and, and how this um will assist our government in reaching those targets they've set with regards to vaccination? Yeah. Obviously our numbers are quite low on the uptake for the vaccines, right? So we um, with regard, uh, are working with a Muslims Association of South Africa um, and the Department of Health as well as the Office of the Premier decided to do this to assist government to get the vaccines out to our people because often our people go out there and they, they don't want to go queue at the scam or whatever. They, so to bring it to, the, to our people in the, in the communities is much better and obviously Vodacom being such a great partner and, and uplifting the communities and playing their part decided to partner with with everybody you know and uh, what went into this was quite a lot of planning but being a pop-up site was quite cool, cool because we partnered with Houghton Masjid we partnered with Muslims Association of South Africa and to bring these pop-ups here we've got our volunteers working uh, tirelessly all of our medics doctors are here all on voluntary basis and we just decided you know what let's do this for the greater good and bring everybody here and just vaccinate and get the numbers up to help herd immunity in our country Thank you so much for speaking to us. Uh, we've seen a, a number of young people, so this site is being run quite well. They're running a tight ship. And I say they're running a tight ship because we were in the queue to get vaccinated. And when we tried to run away, someone flagged us down and told us uh, not to disappear or go away. And then we had to explain ourselves what we, why we were here and, and what we were doing here. And, and, and that's why uh, we actually, that's how we managed to get the interviews that we managed to secure. Uh, I've got more people, young people here between the ages of 18 and 25. We understand that they've been allowed to start vaccinating. And obviously you came and took up the opportunity. Uh, talk to us about why it's important to get vaccinated and why you've decided to come here. Um, I think it's important to vaccinate because um, I think... <laughs> uh, I think it's because um, the immunity of the vaccination is... Um, it's to you know. Um, you want to make sure that you are strong enough if you get infected. Because I haven't been infected yet since the COVID, the the pandemic broke out. So um, I think it's just to strengthen my immunity, and yeah, that's why I think so. It's uh, that's why I think it's important. So that, that's a very good decision to take in order to strengthen your immunity against the virus. And obviously it means that you've been uh, playing it safe. Uh, I mean, during, since the pandemic came to the country, you know, did you also get vaccinated? Are you? I'm sorry? I did. You did? Yes. And talk to us about your reasons for vaccinating. Should we come around to you? Let's come around to you. <laughs> Let's go around. So we're just going to be speaking to some of the young people. So it seems as though, you know, we've heard word from uh, the, Gauteng, um, uh, the Gauteng Health Department that young people are actually coming out in their numbers uh, in order to get vaccinated and as you can see there are some young people also coming out here we are going to try and speak to as many of them as uh, of them as possible uh, here's one of them uh, talk to us about your reasons for getting getting vaccinated I think it's imperative that life moves forward and the only way we can get that is if we have herd immunity and I'm all for that I'm keen and I'm tired of living in fear we've been living in fear forever so many people close to us have passed away this is a needed thing for this country. We need the vaccine.
Thank you. There you have it. One young person saying that this is uh, needed. She is tired of living in fear and that, you know, she wants to be able to protect herself uh, from the virus and ensure that she can continue living. And also talking about the fact that, you know, South Africans have lost too many people. Uh, South Africans have lost entire family. There are some families that have actually all uh, died as a result of uh, the virus and so on. So uh, this will assist with regards to protecting South Africans and protecting South Africans from getting uh, complete, very sick and even needing to go into hospitals uh, or needing hospitalization. Uh, it's back to you in studio, Blaine. Yeah, Mbalense, look, this, the pain can't be abstract, isn't it? The, uh, the numbers that of people who passed away can't be abstract. 289 at the last count of new deaths. That's how they term it at the NICD. Uh, I guess we have to resist that urge to become numb to the sorrow. We have to get to a better place. How do we do that? Scientists tell us vaccinate. Why? Because it lessens your chances of landing up in hospital. Uh, but thank you very much indeed, Mbalente. We'll come back to you, get an update. There are a group 